Hai answered, One can tell of an event the Aesir thought to be more significant. The origin of this saga is that Baldur the Good dreamed great dreams which boded danger to his life. When he told the Aesir about his dreams, they took counsel together and decided to seek immunity for Baldur from all kinds of danger. Frigg received promises that Baldur would not be harmed by fire or water, iron and all kinds of metals, stones, earth, trees, diseases, animals, birds, poisons, and snakes. When this was done and became known, it became an entertainment for Baldur and the Aesir, that he would stand up at assemblies and others would shoot at him. Some would strike blows, others would throw stones, but whatever they did, he was unharmed. This was thought to be a great marvel. But when Loki Loifeyerson saw this, he was displeased that Baldur was unharmed. He went to Frigg at Fensalir, having changed himself into the likeness of a woman. Frigg asked the woman if she knew what the Aesir were doing at the assembly, and she said, well, everyone was shooting at Baldur, yet he suffered no injury. Frigg said, hmm, neither weapons nor wood will hurt Baldur. I have received promises from them all. The woman asked, have all things sworn their oaths not to harm Baldur? Frigg replied, well, a shoot of wood grows to the west of Valhalla. It's called mistletoe. Seemed to me too young to demand an oath from. The woman disappeared immediately, but Loki took the mistletoe, plucked it, and returned to the assembly. Hodor stood at the edge of the ring of people because he was blind. Loki went up to him and said, Why aren't you shooting at Baldur? Hodor said, Because I cannot see where Baldur is. Also, I have no weapons. Loki said, No, you should act as the others, honoring Baldur as they do. I will direct you to where he is standing. Shoot at him with this twig. So Hodor took the mistletoe and shot at Baldur following Loki's directions. The shot went right through Baldur, and he fell dead to the ground. This is the most unfortunate deed ever among gods and men.